Here we are, Nablus, Palestine. This is uh, Sharahitin Street, where in, uh, even in 2006, uh, the, uh, the Zionist chiefs came in the bookstore. which is directed by Mohammed Salah, who is here, to talk about Palestine and his son in particular. Mohammed, can you tell us what it is like to be here in Palestine, what the problem is, and uh, how your son became involved? You know, first, uh, welcome to Palestine, welcome to my town, Nablus. Uh, and uh, the problem here in Palestine uh, not with the, the Jewish and the, the, uh, the Islamic, no. The problem here in Britain with the Israeli rights and the Prime Minister of Israel and the, the Ministry of Defense. Uh, we are the people of Palestine. We hate violence. Uh, we want peace. I have a dream. Uh, my dream is uh, to be, see my children live in peace in, uh, in Palestine and in the occupied in West Bank and Gaza Street. And the Israeli children live in peace. And all the people, the Jews and the Palestinians live in the Holy Land. Uh, I have a son, now he is in prison, Israeli prison. He was uh, in past in the uh, Najah University. He learned uh, diplomatic and journalism. When uh, they arrested him, journalism and yeah, journalist. Ah, when they arrested him, uh, the, the when they arrested him, his age was 20 years. In the court martial Israeli, and they give him three life sentence because he wants freedom for his people. My son, he was worked in past with the. The International Palestinian Project, Hair Center in France, and all the friends in France and in the uh, United States and South America and Europe. He, my son, is a violence. He's a writer. He's a writer. Uh, he sent to us a report from prison by the post office, and we putting the report by the mail and internet in all the world and all the newspaper in Europe and uh, especially uh, Arabian magazine newspaper in London and in uh, United Emirates and Sudan newspaper and here in Palestine. My son is hate violence. He, he believes most to the people of uh, Israel live in peace and the Palestinian people live in peace in this whole land and all my all my children believe for the, about this. But in past we, my son we heard by the news television news by the Al Jazeera voice. Uh, he see he say he seen a report from Gaza Strip for a child. Her name is uh, uh, her name, I forget her name, but she's a child. Uh, she, his age was uh, 10 years. She'd go to, the, she's a student, she's go to school uh, and she's putting her badge in back. When uh, she's coming to Choke Point in Gaza Street, the big, big officer shot her 20 bullets. When my son sees that by the television in Jazeera, he's having to choke. Because he believe in believe in peace, but when he sees that picture by the Al Jazeera, he's having shock. He go to out to, to roof and speak with his God. Why my God? They killed this child. She is innocent. She doesn't do with anything. She won't go to school. Why he shot her twenty bullet? In his opinion, he want revenge because he's a, he's a left uh, and he's a communist. Uh, he's uh, do it. Uh, he attacked the soldier in Nablus and around Nablus and what about uh, when they arrested him, uh, they give him a charge, a charge is uh, this young man, he wants to destroy the American embassy in Tel Aviv. But uh, they changed the charge to another charge, 
He, he won't destroy the France embassy in Tel Aviv. And they changed the, char the charge three times. And after this, uh, the court martial, uh, they, they bring to him three judges. The first judge asked him, are you sorry what about you do it with our uh, soldiers? He smiled. My son, he smiled. He said, uh, no. And the second uh, judge is, why you don't be sorry? He told them in the first and uh, second war, the Nazi killed more and more Jews in Europe and in, uh, in, uh, in Poland. He's putting, the Nazi put the child and the old woman and the women and young men by room gas. We have it at Shai. If I will leave, uh, leave the, if I will leave there in Paris, I will be with the Jews against the Nazi because I am a human. But you killed your military. She's killed all my future. She's killed more, and more my, from my people. Uh, there's a student girl. She go to school. The the big officer, he shot her 20 bullets. If he remember the child, the Jewish, when she waiting by the line to go to gas room, he will crying and he will putting a machine gun under the ground and he crying. But he, you killed, you destroy my future. And the first judge has told him, you will go sorry about this. He told him, no, ask your Prime Minister Sharon, ask you, uh, Ask your Prime Minister Sharon, what is, if he said, I am sorry about what is the cri crime uh, with my people, I will say, I am sorry, very sorry. But we are not a criminal. We are human. We believe in peace, in the uh, whole land. And uh, after this, the first judge give him one life sentence, and the other give him one life sentence, and the third give him one life sentence. My son, he smiled, and he uh, told the three judge, Thank you for the life sentence. His mom, she was in the court martial. She's crying. He, he's looking for him, mom, and for and he's looking for the judge. He told him, "You see that woman, Palestinian woman? She's crying. She's my mom. She's told me, love Palestine like yourself. If you will not love Palestine life uh, like yourself, all your history would destroy." Hmm. And uh, after this, they take him out the court martial. Uh, the, the soldier booked the with a boxer in his face, in all his body with the machine guns, and they sent him to Hadarim person uh, in Israel, in, uh, in middle Israel, inside Israel, middle, uh, with uh, Netanya and the, uh, behind Netanya and north uh, and south of Kfar Saba. And now we visit him every two weeks. We go to visit him. They give uh, the cross that they bring to us the pass for one year. What is his name? Basim. Basim. My son, his name Basim. He's a writer. He's doing his books. He's the first prisoner to do it for him, a books in Lebanon. He's writing like Mahmoud Darwish. Uh -huh. Hold it, please. They invented this book in Lebanon, in Beirut. And here, a message from uh, the President Mahmoud Abbas. He sent to him a message for him. Can you uh, read uh, one of his poems for us, uh, even if in it's Arabic in Arabic? English. Arabic. Arabic. And then get a short one, and uh, if you this can, the, translate it, yes. This is the first one he's writing. He speaks about uh, the first brave, the first brave. 
I will speak in Arabic because I didn't know uh, learn English very good for the Arabic. Uh, it said here, Tukus al Muratul Ula. The first play. الناعم الساخن يأخذ التعرج القادم نحو The sweet and hard is give all the life when I came for you but before you hold me and give it me everything you have it on my body The moon is not for us And the sunshine, she's can't wait. I need to hold you for the stars easting to bring a child, a new child from freedom. You will see my lovely now, our grandmom when she is give us a little from group after the people go outside this time. And you will surprise for the hut group when she grow up your sky. And she and you will reading to me what grandma told you. She told you only for you. Okay. Is this uh, Che here behind you? Che Guevara. Che Guevara. This is Che, huh? Very good. Thank you very much, and I hope that we can speak with you again when your son is released and there is peace here Inshallah. in Palestine. Okay. I, I, want, I, will send, I want to send a message for all the people of the world. The message from here, from Holy Land, from Palestine, for all the Jews, let's to do it, to live hand by, by, hand by hand, and forget the violence, and let's give the chance for peace. For sure. Thank you very much. Lord.